Hey, what's up everybody? Scott from Off The Couch Creations and I just wanted to talk to you about this awesome new laser I just got. So I just picked up this Thunder Nova 35 100 watt laser and I'm going to take you through going to set it up, all the different accessories I got with it and uh, then we'll get to running it eventually. And this right here is your air compressor. It helps for cutting materials, different materials. Having that little airflow makes for a cleaner cut. Um, it can help with some engravings too, but oftentimes with engraving, it's better if you uh, leave the air compressor off actually. All right, another accessory we have here is this mixed flow inline fan. What this is used for is you hook up one side to the laser, uh, then you have your fan, and then the other side leads outside of your shop, office, building, wherever you're running your laser, and that way it can extract all the fumes that are made when you're running your laser, when you're cutting the wood, engraving the wood, you get some fumes, keep this all closed, and it'll suck the majority of those right out for you. So this is pretty vital. Last but not least, we have this accessory, which is super important for a CO2 laser, and this is the water chiller. So what this does is we'll hook up some hoses to the laser in the back and it's going to filter water all around the laser tube so that it keeps the laser cool while it's firing because the laser beam will heat up and you don't want the glass of the laser to crack so this will prevent everything from cracking. All right and uh, as far as our standard laser we have uh, just a nice hood here we can open up. Got some glass windows on top so we can see what we're engraving and uh, let me show you here. So we've got the glass top, got a nice honeycomb bed in here. So here we have the CW5000 industrial chiller. We got a spot, uh, spout right here. This is where you add your water in. Then if we spin it around back here, We've got our water in and water out. So we'll go ahead and connect our hoses to here. And then if need be, we have a drain down here. And we also have a power supply here. So we'll get that all connected up to the laser eventually. But that is what you get with your chiller. Just a simple machine there that basically pumps cold water through your tube to keep your tube from cracking. So what these keys are for is they are used to unlock these panels to open up and use as like pass through areas or if you need to get a material you can pop this right open you got this tray right down here and that's where things will fall through from your honeycomb bed if you need be and there's also a few different doors around the machine and these keys are used to open up these doors And then in this toolbox here, you've got a whole bunch of accessories. You've got different uh, screwdrivers in case you don't have them, some acrylic gauges to show you the height of your laser, some new nozzles, all the cords you need to plug everything in, and then just some extra tools just in case you don't have the tools to get your laser hooked up and ready. It also comes with some lens cleaner and some materials to clean your lenses and make sure everything is ready to go when you are ready to run your laser. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is get our chiller hooked up. Like I said, we've got our hoses, one for an inlet, one for an outlet of water, and our power supply. Got the twist tie off there. This one will plug in right there. Self-explanatory. This will plug into the back of the laser. We'll show you that in a minute. So, got a cap on both the inlet and the outlet for the water. We'll take those off. Put one hose on the inlet. We'll really shove it down on there and one hose on the outlet. All right, so this, I'm gonna take one extra step, unnecessary, but having owned other lasers in the past, I just feel like it's uh, an extra little safety feature that I want to do. So I got these hose clamps. I'll leave a link for them uh, from Amazon, but basically all they're gonna do is sit on top of here and make sure that this hose never comes off because if it does, you'll end up with water all over. And that's the wrong size. So you wanna just make sure you find the right size and uh, it should be good. There we go. So this one doesn't fit over the metal. We pinch it, open up, and there. Now it's nice and secure and not coming off. Do the same for the inlet. There we go. Nice and secure, not coming off. Now these, you want to keep nice and clean. You don't want anything dirty getting in your water. So Another thing on the back of this chiller that I neglected to hook up, this right here, is our alarm output. 
So we'll connect to that and then we'll connect to the laser and that way if we have any issues with our chiller while we are running our laser, we will get an alarm. Hey, in order to hook up the back, you gotta come back here and see what's going on. Come on. Now we are back here at the back of the laser and we're gonna go ahead and hook everything up. So first we've got our alarm. It should be pretty simple to hook up. Line up your prongs. And right, so we've got our alarm all in. Take our power supply. Get our power supply all hooked up. There, and that locks right in. So for the power supply, what you want to do is you want to line up your marks here, go straight in, turn, you'll hear it click, locked in. All right, now here is the part you really want to pay attention for. So we've got our outlet and our inlet. So water is coming out of here. We want water to go in here. Then water is coming into here, but we want it coming from out of the machine. That's it. Simple as that. We got our water uh, chiller all hooked up. But I'm going to go ahead and add some hose clamps to these guys. Hold on. Now, while we're back behind the machine, we can go ahead and do our power input too. So for the power input, you've got these two ends on your cord. We'll take it and we'll line up our prongs, push in, turn, and it locks. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and get the air compressor hooked up. So in our air compressor box, we have an air hose, looks like a diverter of some sort, so for this compressor what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and screw this part right into here. After we hooked up our chiller, there was just one extra port. That right there is where you're going to hook up your compressor. So you take that hose line, you shove it right in, and it should, yep, and it pulls a nice connection to get it out. You just push on this little white ring here, but you want it to lock in place, and it does. So we'll go ahead and plug right into here, output air pump. There we go. All right, air pump all installed. Next thing we'll get to is our vent. And your fan, got a nice QC pass. That's always a good thing when it passes the quality control, right? So, here. All right. Basically what this is, is this will just be mounted onto the wall and what it's used for is it's going to t have these hoses hooked up to the back of the uh, unit and it's going to just extract all the fumes out and push them outside using the fan. When we're hooking up the vent fan, we want this uh, fan to be as close to where the exhaust is going to exit the building as possible so that it'll pull everything out and you won't have any residual smoke or residue left in the vent fan or in your vent tube and then that way it'll keep the smell down the best it possibly can. Here behind the Thunder Laser Machine, and this right here is where our exhaust is gonna outlet. So we are gonna hook up one of our vents uh, tubes to here. We'll mount our fan on the wall somewhere over here, and we will exit out this exhaust that we have back here. We've got this inline fan right here. Gives you an arrow on it showing you which way the flow is gonna go. You obviously want that to be facing out, so I'm gonna mount mine on the wall just like this, and then it'll suck the uh, suck the exhaust from the laser through the vent fan and out the back of the shop. So let's get to work. So we've got our casing here, housing, whatever you want to call it. Arrow pointing this way because our exhaust we want coming out this way. 
I know because of my terrible mudding job that there's a stud right here. Go ahead and mount it right on the stud. Do you take some of our hose clamps, our flex hose, and go from laser to exhaust fan? Oh. All right, we got one hose end hooked up to the vent fan. Now we're going to hook up this other end to the out exhaust pipe. But I'm just going to make sure first that we have a hose clamp on here. And once you have your inline fan set up, it just plugs right in there. We've got our exhaust vented out of the shop through the fan. We've got our chiller hooked up. We've got our electrical hooked up. We've got our compressor hooked up. The only thing we haven't done is filled our chiller with water, which is pretty important. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna fill our chiller up with water. We'll plug this bad boy in and uh, turn it on. Pretty exciting. Over here next to the laser, all plugged in. Take off that cap there. And we Machine is plugged in, ready to go. Ready to power this bad boy up. Let's see what we got. 